We come back now with sad news, and that is that Herman Cain, uh, longtime businessman, former mm -hmm. CEO of Godfather Pizza, and of course Republican presidential candidate in 2012, in the 2012 race, has died at the age of 74. His death confirmed uh, by his Twitter account. Uh, we should note that he was diagnosed with COVID following his attendance, and that is a picture there at a Trump campaign rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma a couple of weeks back. Uh, this just confirmed by Herman Cain's own Twitter account, the, the death of the longtime businessman as well as Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain. He was only 74 years old. Let's read this tweet and keep it up on the, on the screen. This is, again, his official account. Quote, you're never ready for the kind of news we are grappling with this morning, but we have no choice but to seek and find God's strength and comfort to deal. Our thoughts are with his family, but it, uh, of course today. And Jim, again, as you said, quite a successful businessman, quite a career leading Godfather of Pizza. Mm -hmm. He started his career uh, back in the mid-70s. Uh, working at Coca-Cola. He went on to Pillsbury, went on to Burger King, uh, became president of the National Restaurant Association. And then, of course, I think, the, you know, so many came to know him when he did run for president uh, back in 2011 in the 2012 uh, campaign. Of course, during that, he penned his memoir, This is Herman Cain, My Journey to, to the White House. Uh, again, a supporter of the president who went to that yeah. rally on June 20th, Jim. He did. And we should note uh, a, a trailblazer mm -hmm. as a black executive in this country, yes. uh, ch chairman and CEO of Godfather's Pizza, went on to be uh, the president of the National Restaurant Association, uh, the son of a domestic worker uh, and a janitor who went on to achieve enormous success. Uh, but of course, another American. Uh, of those more than 150,000 who now lost their lives thank to COVID. You. Joe Johns, thank you, um, thank you. a remarkable life uh, and notable, must be noted, that he apparently was infected at a, at a Trump campaign rally in Tulsa. Is that right? Well, we don't know, but we do know that he went to that Trump rally in Tulsa, and we also know that uh, there were numerous people, some Secret Service agents, uh, a couple staffers, I think, here at the White House, who were uh, found to be positive for coronavirus. And right around that timeline, that's when, um, not long after, he showed up at the hospital. And also important to say that Herman Cain had recovered from cancer previously, which made him a high risk individual uh, should he be exposed to coronavirus and you're right a really remarkable life he's also a, a federal reserve official uh, a very colorful character and having covered a little bit of his presidential campaign uh, albeit briefly uh, he uh, he really stuck out uh, as uh, one of the more colorful and interesting certainly african-americans to ever seek the top job over here at the white house